would you do if I said the secret of happily married men is working hard to make your wife happy? You say, oh, brother. Okay, it sounds great to me. Yeah, but the most would say, that will never happen. Okay, so, so, so here's the thing I want to throw by you, okay? When the boss says, we got a problem we're calling you on, and we need you to solve this, could you solve this? And, and you could never say to your boss, well, that will never happen. I mean, you'd be gone you'd in no time, fire. right? And, and so here's the deal. We're going to challenge you to make a career, as Scott says, of loving your wife, and we're going to start with job descriptions for a husband. Now, is that really true? That's okay. exactly the point, that you need to think about your marriage the way you think about a job. In other words, when you've got a job, you know that you've got responsibilities, you've got a commitment, you've got an obligation to do the job right, and it's not going to go right the first time you try. Okay, I've got to say something to women, <laughs> because what do you think when you hear job? You think, I'm a job? Like, I'm a chore? I'm a duty? Okay, that, no, no, that's no, no. how you feel about it as a woman, but I'm not talking to women yes, here. I'm talking thank to you. men. Thank you. Thank and you. I'm saying to men, job men, uh, for you, men. you men understand yeah, yeah. this. You know what it means to have a job. Okay, but you I know wasn't what... done, Scott. <laughs> I'm talking to the guys. Can you just give me a second okay, here? Okay, hurry right. and finish. <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. But I do what I want to say. Right. But the truth is, because I'm actually going to agree with you, the truth is I need to put my big girl panties on and oh, excuse who gives... Me. That's a change. <laughs> you're gonna go to the table. You're gonna you're gonna do something. You're gonna change. No, but who gives a rip how you describe it and how you frame it? As a woman, I should just say you're actually doing what I'm craving, and that's but, but fabulous. But to, to give women some credit, I mean, I've worked with couples, and, and you know, when I say, listen, here's a list of things to do, she says, list. I wanted to come from his heart, and I'm saying, okay, hold it now. But understand, because he's saying, what do you want me to do? And he's doing this because he loves her. Like, he really loves her, right? He is trying to define what he needs to do. Because for a man, action counts. Yes. And so to say, and so a woman will say, well, I, I want to know that I feel loved. And, and she'll turn to her husband and say, love me. And he said, well, how do, I, how do I put that into operation? How do I make that happen? Mm -hmm. And so I agree with you, Dave. I think the idea is find something to do that will represent Who that Who gets love. to write the list? We'll get to that later. <laughs> no, no, I, you're, I think the woman gets to write the list. I Whoa. think a good, I'm serious. I think the man has to listen. This is a to wise what, man. To what his woman's needs are. You know, you know, we were talking earlier about the idea of a happily married man. And right. here's the bottom line. And most happily married men know this, that if you really want to figure out whether you're a happy man, you ask your wife. Oh, do she we, tells you. Do, yeah, honey, am I a happily married man? <laughs> Because you know what? If you walk around and say, I'm a happily married man, and your wife looks, you know, we have a miserable marriage, oh, yeah, it's a yeah. horrible yeah. marriage, I got then one it doesn't that. matter yeah. that it, you're it, a happily married man if your wife's not if happy. If you're listening, seriously, if you're listening, okay, do the, what I call the eye test. Take your wife hand to hand, look her in the eye, and just ask how we're doing. Before she says a word, her eyes will tell you how we're doing. And so that's what you're really saying, you know. The wife is the cue well, to whether we're going to do well. Dave, that sounds wonderful. It works. a very romantic <laughs> notion. No, no. But it sounds, I'm sorry, it's, it's too womanly for me. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I, I'm not going to be able to read her eye emotions. Studies show men are not as able to read men's eyes emotions as women are. Okay. And so the idea is, yeah, it helps. Pay attention to her expression, pay attention to her emotions, but listen to her. Men have, what is the main complaint that women have about husbands? Men don't listen. They're not listening. And you've got to use your good listening skills. Okay, so here's the deal. Men, you want to be successful at work, you want to overcome at work, put those same attitudes together into your work, uh, your, your home place, and say, okay, I I'm required at work to listen, to, to be intuitive, to, to get things straight, to take notes, whatever I got to do. Okay. Turn that same attitude into your work. If you were selling yourself in the workplace, what are your top two traits? If I was selling myself? Yes. Uh, persistence. Okay. And honesty. Okay, would your wife say that she sees that in your marriage? Oh, Are you sure. A she sees husband? persistence. She, she, she thinks I'm stubborn. <laughs> right. Which, but that's okay. In my view, is you can be stubborn as a man. Just be stubborn about the marriage. About the right be things. Be committed oh. to your wife. Be stubborn yeah. about making her happy. And if your focus is on making her happy and meeting her needs, then you are going to be the happiest guy in town. That is so, oh, I like that, I like that, I like that. Okay, what is, what's good about you at work? I don't know, ask my staff, but, <laughs> but, but no, I think I got vision, and, and I think, I, think I, I, I got intuition about what needs to be decided next. 
And do you bring that to your marriage? I try. I say, hey, I think we need to go this way. And, and I think I try to read whether she's really with me on things. So you try, but, you know, those are a little more nebulous than some of the ones he said. Are, are men feeling, because as I'm listening to, I'm thinking, I want men to feel competent. Like, I want them to feel like I'm as good at my marriage. In fact, I'm better at my marriage than I am at my job. What can I do as a wife? Yeah. to make you feel that. Right, and that, that's a great question. What you need to do as a wife is to honor the, honor the idea that your man is trying to make your life better and help him make that better. Mm -hmm. Don't point out to him all the mistakes that he's making each minute of the day. Yeah. Instead, point out the things that he's doing that make a difference yeah. in your life. He wants to just, yeah. he wants to be your superman. Yes, that'd be exactly. like giving pink slips. Ten pink sleeps, pink slips right. every day when they walk you're in. You're failing. You're failing. Yeah, that's you don't want to hear that you're okay, failing. Okay, listen. H here's the deal. We want to help you men write a job description. Okay? Beyond what Scott has suggested in his book, we've got some questions that are going to guide you through a process of actually writing a job description so you can become a happily married man. Go to our website. It'll make a difference. And stay with us.